Let's have a road test on bolts.lisp. It's a pretty cool program. It's got a bunch of things in it. Just looking at the coding, it looks pretty nice. If I look at the defun C colon, which are the commands that you can run from it, there are quite, quite a number of um, ones in there, quite a few. So you can fish them out from the text file if you wanted to, or if you go to blog, blog.draftsperson.net where draw bolts is available for download there is a list of the different commands and what the sample results are so let's actually give it a whirl by trying all these different commands and see what we get so in AutoCAD we'll up upload the command it's called bolts the file is now we the first one to use was uh, at E L E L E V B O L T E L E V B O L T. That's a mouthful, but it's an elevation of a bolt. Now, when you run that command, you've got two options. You've got hexagon, socket, hex socket, or button head. So let's type H for the hex one and the direction of the bolt. Let's say it's a 20 meter, millimeter diameter bolt, 50 mi millimeters long it gives you that that looks pretty good so where are those dimensions coming from that I just put in well that's the 20 millimeter side and this one here is the 50 so let's have a good at that look at that command again this time we'll put s in and see what we get when we do that one so direction of bolt again diameter 20 length 50 and we get that type of head now let's try that other one that B option click on that put it in that direction 20 diameter 50 long and we get that type of head socket now what other commands were there well there was uh, elf H bolt so similar to that last one elf H bolt so let's type that one in e elf H bolt let's see what we get with that one it's got the three options again HSB so we'll do H direction diameter I'll just put 20 uh, okay so you just get the top of that so let's uh, do the other what two s now do it bolt so that's the top of that one and obviously I think the last one will do the same thing so B 20 diameter whoops sorry I didn't put the direction in right, so let's see what happens there. Yeah, okay, so I put 20, so it did a 20 degrees. It's another thing you can do, you actually can enter the degrees, but it gave you that one there. Okay, next one is hex head. Let's see what that does. Hex head. So pick insert point, diameter, so this stick with 20, and it gives you that. That's just good for your plan views. Uh, roll pin is the next one. Let's type that in, see what we get roll pin pick a point pick a diameter oh, let's go 20 we'll keep to 20 okay so we get something like that let's try something a bit bigger and see what we get so it's 50 50 the size and it says it's the O slash diameter so I assume that's the outside diameter let's test what that is um, So, um, yeah, how do we, I guess we'll just draw a line like that, and then I'll draw a dimension. Yep, okay, so that looks right. Okay, so it's giving you the outside diameter of that object. So if I look at this one and make that diameter 20, yep, it matches up. So that's how that one works. All right, next one, hex head nut which was similar to hex head, but this is the nut, so this one will have the washer with it, most likely. So hex, hex head nut. Pick insert point, diameter of the, enter size of nut, thread diameter. So 20 again, okay, great. So yep, it's got that with the washer and you can see the thread yeah, I'd probably have some of this line work as hidden lines, but you can adjust that later on, I guess. Um, now, let's have a look at tap hole. T 
T-A-P-H-O-L-E. Insert point. Let's go 12, something different. Okay, gives you that symbol. Oh, that's pretty cool. And third end, or thread end maybe, but it's T-H-R-D-E-N-D. T-H-R-D-E-N-D. Pick insert point, thread diameter. It's asking for again, so 20. Okay, so it's the opposite of that for drafting in that way. Now we've got the R hex nut, which looks like the side elevation view of a um, hex nut with the washer incorporated. So R hex nut, pick insert point, D direction of opposite face. We'll uh, pick any direction, and 20 again. Okay, that looks pretty good. Good little list routine there, and hex nut, which looks like just the elevation of a hexagon nut at the other, on the thread. So hex nut, hex nut, type that in, pick an insert point, opposite direction, any direction. Actually, let's do something different there. Hex nut, enter that command, pick an insert point, and now let's put 45 in, see if it does degrees and um, the thread diameter 20. Plain or thin nut? Okay, we'll do a plain to start with. Oops, P, ah, ooh, something wrong there. Okay, let's have a look at that again. Hex nut, insert, direction face, 20, plain. Okay, it draws it right now. So let's try that one more time, hex nut insert point opposite direction I'm going to put 45 in again and do the thread as 20 diameter and plain nut okay it does do something wacky when it draws it like that so be careful of that and then there was one other option in there hex nut which was a thin nut so that direction 20 and do a thin nut yep so it draws it like that of course you can always just grab that object afterwards um, click the midpoint here and type in 45 and you can get that to 45 and it's accurate. I'd probably make a block out of that if I was using it a lot too. Now we've got two more to go. S head cap. Okay, S head cap. Pick insert point, thread diameter 20. Okay, that looks pretty good. And the last one is... Um, SP wash. So I'm not sure what SP wash is. I assume it's a washer of some sort. So let's go 20 diameter. And it's got two options, plain or spring. So let's do the plain. Okay, it's just the washer. But now look at what that spring one was, which I think I've got an idea. 20 spring. Okay, just a diagrammatical version of a spring washer. So cool little program there, bolts.lisp.